I think it's important to ask the question, what is shame? And how does it play into our worlds in a way in which it has profound and insidious complications? Um, if we can think of shame in four categories. First of all, shame always involves something of exposure. It's a matter of the eyes. One doesn't feel or experience shame usually in isolation or alone because uh, it is an interpersonal emotion or affect. So you experience shame when you are seen by someone else or when you imagine them seeing you doing an act, even if there's no one else around you. So shame is an experience of exposure. And second, it's always exposure of something that we see within ourselves or others may see as well as revulsive, raw, disgusting, foul. There is a sense in which we presume judgment against ourselves as a result of what we experience. And so third, the experience virtually always ruins any sense of delight we have or honor we desire uh, or what we presume as delight and honor in the presence of the other. So the experience of being exposed, even stumbling uh, or having food stain your shirt, things that are utterly, in most occasions, insignificant, uh, can be an experience of shame if you bring the judgment against yourself that you have done something revulsive. And finally, it's always the resultant loss of relationship because of the presence of contempt. You will never find shame without contempt. It's virtually fire and smoke, smoke and fire. And so that intersection of when you experience shame, contempt is always our means by which to try and restore or retain some level of control. Contempt against ourselves and certainly contempts against others, and they can be intermittent, and they can be more one or the other, or simply flow in a kind of intersection of judgment against ourselves and judgment against others. But what's most important to ponder with regard to sexual abuse is that the effect of abuse and the effect of presence of shame and abuse is that we don't feel it in abstraction. We don't feel it at 30,000 feet. The fact is shame is bound into the particular moment of a story.